about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the better man. Good evening, Papua New Guinea, and happy belated New Year to you all. I'm Godwin Eki, and happy to be your presenter for tonight. Well, viewers, tonight's program is the first episode for 2016, and so the House and Home team have put together a delightful lineup for you all to begin your new year. Therefore, coming up tonight, we have Cooking with House and Home, we have Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, Shopping with Brian Bell, Plus Vilo Numi, and our very first segment for Goodman Fielder for 2016. So we begin our first segment tonight with our friends from Goodman Fielder International with an introduction into what they do here in Papua New Guinea. Have a look. I have worked with Goodman Fielders for about seven months now and it is very challenging but the very good thing is that we all work together as a team to inspire each other to work harder. We are dedicated to produce quality food for our people and I know our people love our food and we get better all the time. I've been with Goodman Fielder for over 15 years. The thing I like about working here at Goodman Fielder is the support that I get from the management and the team, making sure that we achieve what we, we work on on a daily basis. We are dedicated to our people and have exciting future plans for our people. My name is Leo Colio and I'm the meal manager for Goodman Fielder Port Mosby. I like working with Goodman Filler because we are culturally diverse and we have a range of people that come from different backgrounds. I like to work in Goodman Filler because Every fortnight, like a company, give us free flower bag for our family. And also free transport, pick up and drop off for work, and free lunch. That's why I like to work in Goodman Fielder. Very interesting and very glad and very happy. I love working with Goodman Fielder because of its dedication in producing quality PNG made products. Well, I'm proud working for Goodman Fielders because all our products are PNG made products and we sell best quality products to our customers.
Working with Goodman Fielders is great because we proudly sell PLG made products and we make sure we sell the best to our people. At Goodman Fielder, everyone has a voice, from our cleaner to our general manager. Everyone's opinion is valued, and so it creates and encourages everyone to be motivated, so we can all work together to achieve one goal, and that is committed to producing quality products, and we know exactly what our consumers want. In Goodman Fielder, we have a motto called We are we, we are not me. And this makes it very, very interesting because all different behaviors get together to make one thing, the product that we all love, flame. This is the homeland of flame flower. Yes, and that was the introduction to cooking with Goodman Fielder. Now, over the year, they will be featuring a variety of cooking segments, so make sure you stay tuned for that every week. And an official welcome to Goodman Fielder to House and Home. Now, join me after the break as I will have more on House and Home. Welcome back. Now for this evening we have the lovely Dr. Ambi who will be sharing with us on some of the things that we need to do to boost our children's self-esteem. So please pay close attention and take down notes where necessary. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi. Proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Well, viewers, I want to welcome all our viewers once more to our healthy mind. Well, on the first week of our January, we talked about promoting good mental health among our children at schools. Well, it's a very important topic, but today, what are we going to talk about? I promised you all how we can build our good self-esteem. That means building self-esteem in children is very, very important for their good mental health. So you mean last time we talked about the important about bullying and building self-esteem. M2 plus something, M3 plus, M3 plus important through your life, lol bikini. So on this topic of promoting good mental health among children in the schools, today we will focus very much into building self-esteem in children. Let us feel better about ourselves. 
all right so there are two there are four things i want to talk about uh, uh, building self esteem in children is number one first is building a sense of security so all pikinini need him this last so you have to build a sense of security the children need to feel safe and know what is expected from them and also to promote this how we can promote this among children is one to have clear classroom rules and limits so the rules can include the need to raise raise the hand and before speaking in the class okay to ensure that everyone gets a chance to talk or heard and then they need to be very polite to ensure that everyone feels welcome and supported uh, in the class so m one plus way so now you me hear him or same lo have a clear classroom rules and habits limits all right number 2 lo discuss the rules and advantages of having that rules all right so it's you need to discuss them number 3 place the rules prominently in the classroom and follow the uh, whatever as a routine you must make sure the kids are following and ensure that there is no bullying in the class so that's one of the ways you can build up the sense of security among children m m1 pla big pla big pla important true that's about building self esteem number 2 building a sense of identity so you me discuss pinis you are building a sense of security and me give him some la points pinis now we are building a sense of identity so the reasons this what what it means here this means knowing one's strength and weakness and feeling unique so the to build the child's sense of identity now all pikinin need him identity so you need to know what are the strength and weaknesses na so that feeling is unique different kids are different way so how now you mean by make him to encourage all about me so all about me that is activities that means colleagues pictures and reported to the help of the children to get to know more about themselves so we need to know about the children so you have to use them and also to encourage them all about me so all can write him one him something about them and teachers or one him something pictures so you get him to know in group activities about who is this child what as he want and how he perceives so you can understand that mind of that child on also include homework assignments where children need to interact with other family members give him all this like kind you can actually build up the sense of identity so you mean understand him two plus pin is building the sense of security and building the sense of identity among that's one of the two four ways na me talk talk to lopinis lo to feel uh, to build the self esteem in children is healthy mind with dr ambi proudly brought to you by telecom png limited healthy mind with dr ambi proudly brought to you by telecom png limited well what is the third to build up a self esteem in children number 3 point enhance the sense of belonging 
All right. So it is important for children to feel they belong to a larger group. Okay. So how can we get this? Allow opportunities to have group work. All right. Where children help each other to the present like to join in assignment or so all by hamamas na understanding or na pla piknini na bring him one pla kind hamamas lo group long all na you know m m yet na m ka try pla you know group m stuff so that you are building up them in you know, a group work and to understand others also discuss how to deal with the conflict by st- like starting to accept and also to accepted behavior what is accepted one am kind passin you must walk in and also the limitation you can't just go and bully and fight and everything just because you are unhappy the children must be guided and they must be discussed to deal with the conflicts by starting or stating that what uh, is accepted behavior in the classroom and that's the same thing at home with the, the child's uh, siblings or anybody so all must have a limit no good yeah am by type la problem by come up la pignini pignini by by big head na no got good la mental health na kind kinds problem by come up okay help them to develop the tolerance okay so you as a teacher and as a parents we must help the children to develop tolerance and to those who are different backgrounds so some like time uh, different provinces different upbringing and different countries you may got kind kind something there must be something called tolerance you may must part in law pickinini and point out their strengths constantly you can't just keep on saying oh you no good blah mary or you no good blah boy or this like kind so some like time is important to strengthen their what's the good strength that they have got strengthen them and make him hammer must reward him and not okay hey, you can try plug good plug good plug uh, passing his step now him one plus something low sense of belonging can be enhanced by uh, make him all picking in a low come up good plus straight look thing thing now the last one is to build children's sense of purpose all right so we are talking about building self esteem in children today very focused we are talking about so you may find in pinis building a sense of security building a sense of identity building the sense of belonging now you may come to last bit so build the children's sense of purpose that means children need clearly defined goals towards which they are working so to promote this you must convey uh, that reasonable expectation of all children you can't have set a high standard now expecting picking any lock you know walking way below you or thinking below you you must uh, you know some kind of reasonable way to put him all picking him he got you know try play all picking any picking any need him time picking any need him so you must company or comply or convey to the child you must sit down a story lo child to reasonable expectation of the children so all to by harim good through lo ye blong all la na help all picking any to set their own daily or weekly targets and monthly programs so the all you know all some teachers all pick all parents too must work in this like kind so that you're building or picking any lock come strong low mind blow you now body blow you so all must have their daily uh, thing now weekly now monthly awesome praise even the smallest progress when they achieve you must hamamas na achieving the targets you must praise him pikinini make him em hamamas lo school or even at school in in the house display all students work prominently so you must well, teachers must put all these things prominently and display their good work and everything and encourage them praise more efficiently and uh, you know effectively because try to say exactly what the student is doing that you like and for example john example like john you are working quietly and doing your own work which is like more uh, descriptive than good work john okay so you don't want to say oh you good boy or something you can say oh john you are very very good boy you are 
working very quietly and you're doing everything you explicitly say how they are doing so you walk in mosem pikini ni do say oh quiet being quiet and walk in walk em hama mas teach em hama mas ya em tripla achievement so you must not only say oh you're a good boy no god you must say why na me good boy na you must talk talk and be constructive don't be destructive be constructive and suggest what can be done rather than what has not been done so be positive suggestive and think so well viewers you have heard how you can build up your children at home or school that is fourth thing before i complete building the sense of security building the sense of identity building the enhance the sense of belonging and build children's sense of purpose in their life you have heard this so that you can promote good mental health in your children and i'm sure that parents and teachers have heard that will take an opportunity to think and hear and transform your children for the best citizen of this country well viewers you thank you for listening to us and health in mind the good promotion in school good mental health promotion in school is vital and them time blow you me change him all way blow you me law bring him mental health law school blow you me now you me can change him nation one in way you me like him straight until next time we by me talking mol say one him put him papa god first straight now try pla piginini all get up piginini now all of them must change now come up good through lohan hand blow papa god until then take care now god bless you all bye bye now This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Thank you Dr. Ambi for that and I hope you all have taken down some important notes there because our children are most important and valuable resource for us to build a great nation for all and for us to live in. Therefore teaching them the right things is important. We shall go for a quick break now and up next we join Leon Gawi with more on shopping with Brian Bell for 2016. Welcome back. We now join Leon Gawi with Brian Bell's first segment for 2016. Have a look. Good happy new year to you all and welcome to the first shopping with brand build segment for 2016. I'm your host Leon Gawi and I hope you've enjoyed your new year celebration and are ready for 2016. Now with the new year comes new year's resolutions. So whether you're looking to get fit or spend more time with your family or live a stress-free life, brand build can cater to you as you will see in tonight's show. Yes, the festive season has come and gone, but those extra kilos hasn't gone with it. I don't blame you. Christmas and New Year's was a time to eat, drink and be merry. However, with the new year you're looking to shed those extra kilos. And Brian Bell has got just the equipments to help you with that. If you're looking to shed that festive season weight, why not do it through exercise? The best way is either walking or jogging. And for that, you will need joggers or a sun shoe. The super soft cushioned insole adds comfort especially whilst running or walking long distances. This is made from Phylon, which is a double foam sole that enhances comfort and performance. Also check out our range of Reebok training and fitness equipment. Like this dumbbell set, it's color coordinated for various weights, easy to store and keep. It's also got a plastic cover to protect it from all the elements and is perfect to use outdoors. 
Now, if you know your sporting brands, then there's none bigger than Nike. So if you're a serious athlete or aspiring to be a serious athlete, then check out our range of Nike gear. We stock a great range of Nike shoes, shirts, shorts, socks, training apparel, and training equipment. This is ideal to help you achieve your resolutions. Our extensive Nike merchandise provide the leading sports technology to you for the best performance. Now, if you're a coach or manager looking to take your team to the next fitness level, then check out our range of Adidas training equipment. We sell Adidas ankle weights, resistance bands, training gloves, skipping ropes, and gym balls, which are perfect for group fitness sessions. Now, if you have minimal time to work out, but still want to get your heart rate up, then you should invest in one of our spirit treadmills. Our spirit treadmill is durable and easy to move. Its adjustable speeds allow you to adjust to whatever fitness level you're on. Added advantages are you can exercise at home, it saves you the hassle of traveling to and from a gym, and it's a lot safer than walking or running on the streets. Now if your resolution was to spend more time with the people that mattered, like your friends and family, then why not share it over some great coffee with some great company and great conversation. The Sunbeam Coffee Maker is perfect to cater to that catch-up or hangout session with your loved ones. It's efficient and prepares 12 cups of coffee in 9 minutes, saving you time so you can spend it with your loved ones. The removable mask filter is easy to clean and eliminates the need for paper filters, which in turn is quicker to clean up, saves you costs and gives you more time. The anti-drip valve makes cleanup time a breeze and it has a cool LCD display so you can check the progress of your own brew of coffee with minimal time spent and more time to be spent with family. Another great way to spend time together is to go camping. Now, Coleman has a great range of tents and gazebos that are easy to erect and take down, saving you time and effort, allowing you more time to be spent with the ones that really matter. Like this instant lakeside four-man dome tent, two people can set it up within minutes, thus saving you time. It's waterproof, provides ample space for all to be together and enjoy each other's company. Now check out our range of gazebos. These are also known as tents and are very simple to erect, allowing you more time under them to enjoy the company of loved ones. Coleman's certified laboratory tests show that these gazebos are the best at reflecting harmful UV rays and thus promotes a cooler atmosphere for you to enjoy while spending time with the people that matter the most. If your resolution was to have a stress-free 2016, then we have some great products that can help you with that. We have scented oils, scented candles, and gardening equipment that can help you create a calming atmosphere to bring your stress levels down. Brian Bell has an impressive range of scented candles from Ocean Breeze to Pink Vanity and Rose Water Cream to provide that aromatherapy for stress relief. My personal favorite is lavender. Lavender is scientifically proven to reduce stress levels and to the mind it is both calming and stimulating and it can aid to a good night's rest. There are also fragrance oils that when burnt produce these therapeutic fragrances. When these fragrances are inhaled, receptors in your nose then transport the information to your limbic system. The limbic system is where our emotions are processed. This can release certain chemicals in the brain that help people relax. Finally, we see a great tool that can be used to relieve stress. Gardening. The benefits of gardening towards stress relief is that the exposure to sunlight Sunlight releases serotonin. Serotonin keeps our brains balanced and at the same time it makes us feel good. Also, the added benefit is the exposure to fresh air which gives us a sense of well-being and promotes good mental focus. A great product that can aid this is the garden bed frames we sell. There are two different sizes, a 900mm by 1200mm by 300mm and the 600mm by 600mm by 30mm. These frames are made from durable galvanized steel which is built to last and is easy to assemble. Well as you've seen tonight, Brian Bell has a lot of products that can help you with your resolution. Whether it's getting fit or spending more time with family and friends or releasing stress in 2016, Brian Bell's got you covered. We have excellent products that will help you with your resolution. And you know, great prices, great products that's Brian Bell. Good night and God bless.
Yes, and that was the first segment for shopping with Brian Bill, airing ideas of how you can maintain some of your New Year's resolutions. Well, we'll go for a quick break now, and up next, we have Cooking with House and Home. Good evening viewers, I'm Godwin Eki and welcome to this edition of Cooking with House and Home. For tonight's recipe, I will be cooking mince and spaghetti. Before we start cooking, I would like to say a very big thank you to Port Mosby Nature Park for allowing us to cook here. Alright, our ingredients for tonight to go with our mince and spaghetti is, we have some onion, some ginger, we have some garlic, we have some butter, we have some salt, some pepper, and finally bacon to go with the mince. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is put some butter into the frying pan. So you can always use uh, cooking oil if you prefer to have oil, but for tonight I'm gonna have some butter. Use some butter. Now I'm gonna add some onion. And then just give it a mix. Now I'm going to add some ginger. Give it a mix. Some garlic. So you just want to make sure the onion is all soft. Maybe five minutes. Just watch the temperature and um, just watch the onion. Make sure it doesn't go too golden brown. So what I'm doing here now is just waiting for the onions to turn brown, not too brown. As you can see, the color is about changing. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is add our main ingredient, which is the mince. Once you put the mince in, just give it a mix. So you just want to make sure the onion, the garlic, everything's mixed in. So what I'm doing here now is just, I'm just keep gonna mix, keep mixing this. You don't want this to stick to the frying pan. So as you can see now, the color is beginning to change. The color of the mince, it's turning brown. And that's a good sign, that means it's cooking. So you just wanna keep mixing it. All right, so I've cleared my table and it's all set for the next step. So what's happening here is that I've let this steamer for about two minutes, but you can have this steamering for five to 10 minutes and make sure the color changes to brown. And that means the mince is, you know, all ready to go. So I'm just gonna give that a, a mix again. I can smell the flavor.
Okay, so that's looking good. What I'm going to do now is add some bacon. Give it a mix. So our next ingredient that I'm going to use uh, to add to our mince is a table, tis, half a teaspoon of salt. Yep, that should be enough. And then we have some black pepper. So the pepper and salt just gives it that extra flavor with the onion, garlic, and the ginger. So give it a mix. Mm. I can smell it. So what I'm gonna do now is just put the heat down a bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, viewers, I'm gonna add this spaghetti into our boiling water. So we've got the pot ready. I'm just gonna break it in half. Oops. Okay. Just leave that there. Now if you don't want to break the spaghetti in half, you can always hold it because then the water, when it gets hot, it makes it soft, so it just goes down so you can have long fingers of spaghetti. I'm just going to give our mince a bit of a mix. Oh, that's looking good. All right, viewers, as you can see, our spaghetti have actually gone a bit softer and it's gone down. So that's a good thing. It means it's cooking. So while you're doing this, you can at the same time check, check the mince, which is what I'm going to do now. Just checking our mince. So we're nearly there. We're nearly just about cooking everything. All right, viewers, so what I'm going to do now is add some tomato paste. Um, the good time to add the tomato paste is make sure the onion, all the flavors are all mixed in and our meat is brown. So it looks like it's the right time for me to add my tomato paste. So that's what I'm going to do now. That's that. Give it a mix. Wow, that's looking good. All right, viewers, our final and last ingredient for tonight is the spaghetti sauce. You can grab this at any supermarket near you. So the reason why I'm adding this sauce is to give it that texture and keeping in mind that we're having spaghetti with mince. All right, now you can give it a mix. All right, viewers, now our mince is ready to be served, but before we start serving, we still have our spaghetti. So our spaghetti is gonna take about another five minutes before we start serving them both. All right, viewers, our spaghetti is ready, so I'm now gonna drain the water out from the pot. Okay, that is hot. Oh. 
this back here. The next thing I'm going to add is some butter so that the spaghetti doesn't stick. Give it a mix. All right, viewers, so what I'm going to do now, once you've rinsed the spaghetti, you can start serving it on a bowl. All right, viewers, and now that I've plated my spaghetti, now I'm going to add the mince. And there you have it, viewers, your mince with spaghetti, a very simple recipe that you and your family can make at home. Now, before we go, once again, a very big thank you to Port Mosby Nature Park for allowing us to cook here. Until then, I'm Godwin Eki. Good night. I hope you all enjoyed that cooking I did for you. Now for the last segment tonight, I have for you Mark Goyner Jr. sharing with you another story of Place Belong Yumi. Hi viewers and welcome to another Place Belong Yumi edition brought to you by our friends at PNG Air for being the official airline carrier of the House and Home program. Now everywhere you go you always want to bring back something special or a souvenir just to remember that fantastic place by. Well here at Walindi they have a boutique shop to do exactly that called Walindi Boutique and it is run by Cecily Benjamin. Here's how you can know more about this fantastic shop. Walindi Boutique runs as part of the Walindi Plantation Resort located in Kimbe, West New Britain Province. It is run by Cecily Benjamin. She established the boutique over 10 years ago. Her reason being, she saw that many of the international visitors and some locals always wanted to take back a piece of PNG just to remember their experiences from when they were there. And so she has decided to make a collection of different items, including shirts, bags, and coffee, and so on and so forth, from different provinces to sell to the visitors. She does not only make collection from within the country, but abroad as well, including from Thailand, Indonesia, and Hawaii. Let's listen to more she has to say. As we know, there's very good crafts in Papua New Guinea from all carvings all over the country. So there's also other things. There's things like uh, cards with designs and there's coffee from Papua New Guinea, which is very famous. Sometimes maps of, of areas. Uh, just a little piece of PNG that people like to take back to remember a wonderful stay. And when they come, do they enjoy seeing all this wonderful thing? Yes, they do. I spend a lot of time telling them where uh, particular carvings come from, particularly the Sepik area and Milne Bay, uh, New Ireland, Tammy Island, uh, all over and, and local as well. But uh, I've had very long associations with some of the, the carvers and the people that put collections together, Papua New Guinea. Commercially, she buys the arts and crafts from artists from around the country and abroad. She has had very long association with the carvers, including a very particular one that absolutely amazed me. But 
uh, I have some very, very long term relationships in, in this sort of thing with some people. In fact, there's even a man and he's deceased now, but his family I still deal with for about 30 years. Now let us have a look at the first item products available at the boutique. Okay, so many of the carvings come from all over Papua New Guinea. For example, here's a seahorse from Milne Bay and people love the inlay and the, the very good quality woods that people uh, carve with. And then we've got Chambry Lakes uh, from the Sepik and other areas of the Sepik. Uh, some of the local uh, carvings are from the Combi area, the other side of the Willamers Peninsula, uh, are items like these, uh, seahorses, uh, dolphins, um, etc. So people often ask about the local carvings as well. Yes. She also has some certainly interesting bags that she sells for both men and women. This includes a reversible inside out bag and a bag she had bought in Hawaii. These bags look absolutely great and trust me, you wouldn't regret buying this authentic artwork. Cecily also sells a range of shirts that are of different colors, shapes and sizes. Particularly this famous one, authentically from one lady of course, about a pack of orcas or killer whales that pass by Kimber Bay every once a year. We sometimes see, every, every year we have a sighting of orcas uh, or killer whales in the bay and it's a very, very special event. So what we try to do is, is capture something special of, of the area particularly the marine area. So when the orcas visit, it's a very special time. And on the back, we have the various areas where people dive as a souvenir of where they've been. Now let us look at the two books based on real events, which Cecily finds so appealing to her and for sure will be to everyone that visits the boutique as it had historical significance. The School That Fell From The Sky is about Fred Hagesheimer, a World War II United States Air Force pilot who was shot down in the area quite close to us here and the local villagers saved him. and. Uh, so it's a very special story. At the end of the war, he came back to Papua New Guinea and built a school. It's now at Awasi, further up near Bayala, and it's called the Airmen's Memorial School. This book uh, by Jack Reed talks about his time as being a coast watcher in Bougainville. And both these books are sold uh, in Moresby uh, from the distributor to fund the Airmen's Memorial School uh, Fund. Cecily, you are an absolute wonderful woman. Everything you're selling here, including this Barnes coffee, is definitely worth the buying. And viewers, if you are a local here, please come and pay the boutique shop a visit here at Walindi Plantation Resort. Or if you live outside of the provinces or outside of Kimbe, PNG Air will be more than glad just to fly you over here only because they provide the best airline services here in PNG. Until then, once again, a big thanks to PNGA for making this Plus Belong Yumi edition possible. I'm Marco Energinia. See you next time.
Yes, and that was Ples Pilongimi with Mark Goyna Jr. and Cecily Benjamin showing you all what lovely antiques, arts and crafts over in Walindi, West New Britain province. Unfortunately, that ends our program for tonight. If you'd like to view this episode once again, you can go to MTV Online, go to Programs and View House and Home. And remember, viewers, there's more you can get out from your home and lifestyle improvements when you tune into House and Home Tuesday nights. Until next time, it's goodbye for now. House and home, yeah, yeah. We care about improving lifestyles. Improving lifestyles. It's all about the better man for your life.